we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Sarah Simpson from Beauty EQ, and we are talking face masks. Morning, Sarah. Hi, Mel. How are you? I'm very well. Face masks seem to be blowing up online. Everyone is doing them and posting videos and things about them. I know. Our Instagram feeds are full of people with charcoal face masks on and covered with all sorts of luxurious creams and lotions on their faces. But there is but something really nice, isn't there, about doing that? There's something really nice about it. I think it's a really nice treat for your skin. I think I like to do one once a week. I draw a bath, put my um, face mask into the fridge, and then hop in the bath and put my face mask on. Do you? Do you have yep. candles around your bath? I love it. Candles always. I bet always you candles, do. Always I bet candles. you do. Yeah. Um, what are the different options then when it comes to face masks? So what? with face masks, what we're seeing, charcoal is massive at the moment, and that is because of its ability to draw out toxins from your skin. And so we're seeing a lot of charcoal face masks. We've got the good old-fashioned peel-off face mask, and sheet masks are always massive. When should you be using them? I think once a week and whenever you feel that your skin just needs a little burst, go into your department store or your pharmacy and have a chat about what your skincare needs are and what your budgets are and they, they'll be able to help you with what you should be choosing. Because mm -hmm. are there any special tips that you need to prepare your skin before you actually do the mask? I think before you put a mask on it's really good to have a deep cleanse and then maybe a little microfoliant. Um, I love the Dermalogica microfoliant just to give your skin a little buff and then you really are helping all of that product sink in the best it can. Right, so you need to have clean skin before clean you Clean skin before, before you get yeah. It. Yeah, you don't want to set that makeup in with the mask. <laughs> no, no, that's true and I can tell you what it takes. Sometimes after the show it can take a little while to get my makeup off. <laughs> <laughs> don't wake up like this, just quietly. <laughs> don't wake up like this. So what sort of things should you get for different skins? Say your skin's oily, what things work best for that kind of skin? So a charcoal is really good for an yeah. oily skin. If, you are, um, if your skin's dry, then I would look for masks that offer hydration and some revitalisation. If you're worried about dark spots, I would look for um, something that works on pigmentation. So you re there really is a mask for anything. Anti-aging, there is a million masks for anti-aging. Can you get something that's got all of those things in it combined? You should no. be. Dreams we should free. create one because that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, oh, there's, oh, that's looking attractive oh, on screen there. Oh, there you go. Wow, there's a whole lot of Instagram posts happening right there. So what have you actually brought in today to so talk I've about? So I've brought in a whole lot for us to talk about. So we've got the good old-fashioned sheet masks. Okay. Now, beauty companies are really good at using their hero products and infusing them into a mask. So this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Mask. Right. It's a foil mask. Oh, wow. And it is infused with their award-winning serum, so it's an absolute... Absolutely beautiful. So by putting the mask use. on, you're going to get more of that serum into your skin. It's going to really help work? penetrate. It's a really highly concentrated amount of the serum, and it really penetrates with having the, the mask on as well. And that's a foil mask. That's going to look great on your Instagram. I thing know. Too. It's probably the most scariest looking. Excellent. Now I love this that. one from Shiseido is exciting. It doesn't launch until next month, and this Ooh. one is half of it's in two parts. So the top half gives you different qualities to the bottom, so it lifts and brightens at the same time. So that is oh, very yeah, fancy. See. Yeah, separate things. So it's lifting what the top part of your face and brightening well, the bottom. Or? Yeah, yeah. Or brightening the top and lifting the bottom wherever you feel like you need the lift. What, can, you just, <laughs> can you use the lift all over? That's Absolutely. What I like to do. Why not? So this one is launching next. Launches next month. So that's their new baby. Right. Then we have the new uh, Pavage mask from Elizabeth Arden, and that is their famous um, Ida Benone. Um, antioxidant and that is a peel off mask which I yeah. hear you did last night. Actually you know what I did use this last night and the best thing about this is that it's it's like all of my children took turns peeling it off because it dries like a like a PVA glue and it peels off. And I feel it's, like a horror story for them peeling off their mask. It mouth. was it looked quite creepy but it was so much fun they loved it I loved it my skin felt really nice. There's after something it really fun I think about p peeling off a mask. Yeah, there. See, just like that. It was just there like you that. Go. It was really, honestly, you should have seen the little faces. They lit up. It was like, oh, this is the best bun ever, Mum. Do the mask again. Yeah, I need to do that tonight with my kids, actually. Then we have the charcoal mask. So, right. this, I like to use a foundation brush and brush it onto my skin. Okay. And then leave for 15 minutes, and that really helps to draw out any um, congestion in your T zone. Right. Really, so, you really can be using product. different masks, can't you? You can use this one week, and then maybe a oh, lifting one the next week. Absolutely. Tailor it to whatever you like. Now, this is my cheeky beauty bite. It's $5.50. Ooh. So you pick it up from a pharmacy and it is just everything you need in that one pod and you can choose between the different variants depending on what your skin needs. Peptides and then that's a, re a peel off mask as well which would be fine. And what is this one down now, here? Now I wanted to bring this in just to say that you don't need a mask for your entire face. So this is a Shiseido eye mask. So if you feel that it's your eye area that needs a little bit more attention. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Then just get an eye mask, pop it on, 10-15 minutes, read your magazine, have a break, take them into the bath, 
and you'll completely see it. Fantastic. Hey, well, that's very exciting. I love it when you come in and bring so many goodies to talk about new stuff coming out. Thank you so much, Thank Sarah. Thank you for having me. Uh, now, for Sarah's tips, you can head to the website, beautyeq.co.nz.